Hello. Hi. Am I on? Yes, you are on. Who am I speaking with? Uh, I will remain nameless. Okay. It's really hard to hear you. It sounds like, I don't know where the hell you're calling from, but it is, it sounds like you're calling from space. Uh, I can hear you. Yeah. (laughs) It doesn't sound great. I don't know if you're on like a headset or something. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Generally, I don't know why. Headset quality is not good. Was that better? Yeah. Way better. Way better. Um, Okay. So, okay. So I have a few. Um, scariest things that happened to me i mean combo have you ever heard of combo at the frog medicine combo at the frog medicine yeah it's like a frog poison actually they just they burn holes in your skin and then they put like a frog poison in your skin who, and who um, does that it's supposed to <laughs> oh shamans i guess in the amazon oh shamans put frog poison in your skin for and this happened to you yeah, well, it didn't. I, I like paid for it. Actually, I, I wanted it. Oh, like as <laughs> because, like a psychedelic uh, experience or something? No, that's what's so funny about it. Because the uh, combo is like the psychedelic experience without any psychedelic. It's like the shitting your guts out and puking your brains out. Why experience without any psychedelic? <laughs> I don't know. You did it in the Amazon. I don't know. Or where did you do it? Yeah. Uh. Well, okay, so I did it a few... Actually, I've done it eight times. And Can you spell this it for is me? really terrifying. Uh, K-A-M-B-O. K-A-M-B-O. Combo. K-A... Yeah. Frog detox. Okay. Yeah, basically. All right, okay. We're going to look into this on the after show as well. Um, okay, so you went to the Amazon? Yeah, I went to the Amazon. Uh, lots of scary stuff there, actually, but... Um, yeah, so Kembo, it's like, so they burn, they take like a stick, they burn like holes in your skin, and then it's, they remove the first layer of skin, and then they scratch off like a stick with frog poison on it. I'm not sure of the entire process, but they put this little bit of gooey thing like inside your skin, and your lymphatic system immediately detects the poison, and it just tries to like completely fight it off and so your whole face gets well it depends actually different people react differently and you will also react differently depending on the you know how much crap is in your system apparently and why do you do this well i just dealt with a lot of problems like health problems and i wanted to okay so it's but that's what i'm saying so it's it's some sort of health uh cure it's like some sort of catch-all yeah okay yeah but also people do it it for an emotional kind of thing too it really helped a lot, yeah. But I needed to keep doing it, and, um, and you, know, you have to like, keep going. They call like, it. They actually call it the vaccine. They call it the vaccine of the Amazon. The vaccine, because uh, lots of like, yeah. And so, what do you go because, to, like uh, Brazil? Yeah. Uh, I was in Ecuador. In Ecuador, okay. I, I didn't know yeah. the Amazon where it starts and stops. Okay, so you go to Ecuador. They burn holes in your skin put this frog detox <laughs> thing poison in there um yeah and you've done it eight times <laughs> yeah. it's actually the most terrifying experience of your life it's like the most sick you'll ever feel and you just you don't even know what to do with yourself because it really feels like you're about to die how long um, is this because this sounds like ayahuasca except for like none of the fun parts yeah yeah and how long? Uh, how, how long does it, it depends. Last? Yeah. For me, it, it depended. Like usually, like around thirty minutes to like an hour of feeling so sick, I just didn't even know if I was going to make it through. Like my throat started closing in, also, and um, has yeah, anybody you just died? Feel like your heart pumping in your veins. Actually, I think some people have died. Taking why? It, yeah. <laughs> why can't you just eat the frog? Or will that really kill you? Uh, well, lick the frog, I guess. I don't know. Well, if you lick uh, the frog, you'll hallucinate know. or no? <laughs> or is that also, you're going to get sick? Well, you know, Bufo, Bufo would be the one that you would hallucinate. Okay. Bufo is you, the other frog medicine, poison, whatever. That's, that's you the are really one. I never tried that one. knowledgeable about frogs. <laughs> that will kill you. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that's, and uh, so, and do you do it with like a shaman or something? Like, how does this... 
Yeah, they, they do like ceremonies all the time. Like I think that they also do the combo thing like as a vaccine and also they do it like I think they do it for hunters before a hunt or something. So they can uh, be more like in tune with the forest and in tune with their body or something like that. What? So how did you, so you had some health <laughs> issues and then you were just like kind of looking into alternative options? <laughs> yeah. I guess I just go for the most extreme thing. I don't know. I, I, I mean, you had to like, go to Ecuador. To <laughs> it's pretty extreme. Like even if, all things, like even removing the frog stuff, you still went to Ecuador. Or were you in Ecuador for like yeah. a vacation and then you heard about this? Uh, I wanted to go there to live there. I wanted to like explore and just see all the different things for trees. And yeah, there's a lot of snakes. I was also like, there was many times where I just wake up and there'd be like a humongous snake just like in like the bathroom or like um, times I was sleeping there, there's scorpions everywhere just literally around my head and stuff. And uh, bullet, I got bit by a bullet ant as well. And a what? A uh, bullet hand? Yeah. A, bu- a bullet ant. Oh, a bullet. So ant. Another thing is, um, there's another a practice. I don't know which group does this in the Amazon, but there's like a coming of age thing where they put they like fill these gloves basically with a bunch of really painful ants. Like the bullet ant is the most apparently they say it's the most painful bite you could ever have of anything it's harmless but it's, it's very very painful it feels like a bullet apparently and okay. so like a coming of age thing is that they put all these ants inside of gloves i'm looking and, at like, it right here like Smith- kids or something yeah smithsonian mag when becoming a man means sticking your hand into a glove full of ants all right <laughs> well this is this is what we're going to be investigating on the after show that's for sure this is going to be a very animal okay. <laughs> animal centric show. We got frogs, we got ocelots, bullet ants. This man this is wild. So, and would you do it again? Yeah, for sure. For sure. So it's like honestly, the afterglow is actually really amazing because you like because you face death in such a raw way, and it's you're like you're facing your mortality. Um, I think that it really is like a great experience if if you're not like too scared of it because. Like after where you just like so many things become more real to you or like, you know, things that didn't matter before you just let them go. And there's just a, this whole body feeling of like, like you just survived death kind of. Or sure. But you did it to yourself. Like I'm like, serotonin. I don't know. But like, can you do that many other ways? Uh, yeah, you could, you could administer it to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. Well, uh, um, that that is a that's an interesting one. I appreciate you uh, calling in with that. Okay, thank you. All right, take care. Bye.